All right, hi, I'm JD, and what we're gonna be doing today is scientific notation. You're gonna be taking this very large number, which is, which is that one right there. So pause the video and see if you can try to convert this to scientific notation. All right, a little trick that I learned to not get things off is negative means small and positive means large. And so since this is a large number, that means the exponent has to be positive when I change it to scientific notation. So I start with the decimal, and I want to move it so that the number is between 1 and 10 but not including the 10. I can include the 1, but not the 10. So it has to be somewhere in between there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now if I stop there, notice that would be 21.62, but it's not. So 8, 9, and I stop there. So that's 9. So 2.162 times 10 and is going to be a positive 9 or a negative 9? Right, it's going to be a positive 9 because it's a large number. And that is it.